We begin our tour with the Romans. All roads lead to Rome indeed, and of course they do here too. But they realise the strategic import, of course, of the military position here north of the great ancient capital of Winchester. I will wind the clock on rapidly. Yes, the Romans left. And a medieval market town then sets itself up, ready for the onslaught of history. I heard about one man, his name was John Robinson, and he was a really bad man. Do you know what he did? He pretended he didn't have the plague, but he kept on trading. Now, by the time the authorities caught up with them, 94 people had been infected. The reason we have market days is literally because it would take you several days to travel to the local town, and really, the idea of just popping into a town to go shopping did not exist. Our lovely Guildhall. Uh, how much do you think it costs to refit it all? £9,000. Look down there at the, uh, the old George Inn, right? Again, upstairs was a beautiful music room. And all the gentlemen would be up there listening to that Beethoven chap and whatever. But occasionally, they'd have one or too many drinks. It got so heated that the election agent was thrown out of the window. Now, here we are at the Angel the oldest pub in Andover and possibly one of the oldest in the county. The advantage of London time, of course, is that it's not Andover time, six minutes ahead. Widowed families and people who had fallen on hard times due to drink and gambling problems. So long as they were members of the parish here, they could find food, shelter and accommodation. You might have heard mention, of course, of the old Norman church, the damage done to it during the Great Fire of 1485. So the tower was considered unsafe and should be demolished and we have one more stop festing house one of the finest houses in all of andover so do come this way epitomizes the meteoric rise of andover from that sleepy medieval market town to the hub of the coaching inn period and who's to say with the advent of the new railways what enterprise might actually come upon andover in the coming years we just want to make it quite universal. We just want to make it very interesting so that if kids do come on it, they're entertained. But also at the same time, anyone who's perhaps lived in the town and don't know the history or the, the hidden elements of their town, that they, they'll learn something new. So we want to make it as open as possible. It's fun and you learn a lot, so why not? I'd encourage anybody to do the tour. Light-hearted but informative. I love the way the actors brought the history to life. The trail is about ten different points with a little bit of history and there's a, there's a leaf that goes along with it. And the panels will be going up which tells that story so that if you're just wandering around the town you can find this, this trail and start it yourself and start reading the panel and the history of all the different locations, highlighting some of the things that we mentioned. All of history has passed through Andover. Why not stay a while and listen? Thank you very much indeed, ladies and gentlemen, for all your indulgences. We hope to see you again and do have a safe journey onwards. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.